Hello, this is David G, and I'm coming to you from the sweet spot of the universe. And wherever you are, I hope that sweet spot is nourishing you as well. This week in Life Tools, let's explore the concept of worthiness. Am I worthy? Wow. A fairly big question, and we question ourselves a lot about this. Am I entitled to happiness? Am I entitled to freedom? Am I entitled to the joy of life? A friend of mine who lives in Philly texted me today that walking around Philadelphia, she said there's a really chill kind of energy here in Philly today. It feels like all is right with the world. And I replied, all is right with the world. Sometimes we can convince ourselves that it's not all those voices outside of us and all those voices inside of us telling us all the time how screwed up things are, uh, what the standard is that we need to live up to. And we pound ourselves consistently that we're not good enough, we're not smart enough, sharp enough, not impeccable enough, that we didn't say the perfect thing at the perfect time or we didn't do the perfect thing at the perfect time. It's exhausting. It's just exhausting to torture yourself and beat yourself up like that. So consistency, it's unnecessary. Remember, suffering is optional. So yes, we make mistakes. We are sealed in this flesh casing for the span of a lifetime. We're human, we're mortal. We will say things we wish we didn't. We will do things we wish we could take back. And we can't step into the past and undo those things, but we certainly can step forward and apologize. Apologize to ourself and then move on. Apologize to another, ask for forgiveness and then move on. We have the ability in every moment to move on, to move forward, to lean hard in the direction of our dream, to own our impact. And so if you've been dimming your light for whatever reason, someone told you you weren't good enough, so you believed it and here we are. Or there's a voice in your head telling you what a bumbling mistake you made. Okay, that's the beauty of being mortal. We make mistakes. And if we can view these as lessons, as Tavis Smiley says, if we can fail up from our lessons and say, wow, that was amazing. I can't believe I said that. I wish I could take that back, but I can't. So let me say something more impeccable. Let me be a little more thoughtful, a little more mindful, instead of being mindless. That's probably the number one benefit from a daily meditation practice. We're a little less mindless, a little less conditioned. And so I invite you this week, trust, trust that inside of you, deep within, you have sacred powers, you have native energies, deep within, you are whole and perfect and pure. And that every moment leading up to this moment is perfect because it's led you to this moment where we can ask the question, here I am in this sacred, precious, present moment. What shall I do with it? What is the highest vibration I can bring to this moment right now? And if you can go there, if you can flip the script, if you can allow yourself to be a little kinder to yourself, a little more forgiving, a little more compassionate, this is what self-care is all about, then perhaps the next moment will be better. And if we can root for the next moment to be better, because that's what compassion is. It's rooting for someone's suffering to end. So how about we root for our own suffering to end? And we trust that we are everything that can be brought to the moment. And if you failed in the past, powerful lesson. They say Edison failed 17,000 times trying to make the incandescent light bulb. They've said that Michael Jordan missed at least 60% of his shots. We go through this process of looking around us and seeing people who fail consistently failing up. And so let's fail up this week. Let's truly own what we do. Don't apologize for it, own it. Apologize for our actions, but not for the fact that we're human in making these actions. 
And if we can just lean a little bit harder in the direction of our dreams, trust that the best is yet to come, then we will be in the perfect position to make a powerful next step. So this week, love yourself. Remember, you're beautiful. You're doing a great job. And I love you. Allow that to ripple in just a little bit. From the sweet spot of the universe, this is David G. Keep meditating, keep reading Sacred Powers, and I'll see you in the gap. Namaste.